Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today we return with the eternally splinted leg of doom. But today we are setting out and the goal is to set out with a bit of an empty inventory. I want to go and I want to make some things happen. Those things happen to be inside of the place that we visited a little whiles ago. Uh, just making sure here, I didn't put away anything too important, right? Okay, good. We're gonna be putting some of this stuff away. We'll be doing a little bit more home building in the next episode, I would probably guess. Uh, hold on. Did I improve this sniper rifle yet? I did not. We should do that. Why did I not do this already? I don't know, but we got a better receiver. Let's put that thing on. Hell yeah! Alright, that's almost like 300, but... I want to head back to the bookstore HQ, and there's some unfinished business there awaiting me. Now, this isn't like some sort of like, what well, you guys are going to see. It's going to be good. It's going to be worth it. So I want to empty out my inventory for that. Besides, of course, the bare necessities that we utilize in pretty much day-to-day -day life and the wrench just to be safe. We got what we need. Maybe a melee weapon might be a good investment because we've kind of run out of formidable ones and we can't really craft any. So I'm grabbing the forged iron. We're going to try to make ourselves a barbed club, which I think we need some wood for too. So I'm gonna cop a little bit of wood and then we're gonna do that. Uh, where's the wood at? Where's the wood at? I, did, did I really not put any wood away? Okay, there it is. Never mind. That's a lot more wood. That's going to be a ton of wood that we're going to be utilizing to try and uh, reinforce our base a little bit as the time comes. Only three days left. There is not a lot of time. We are not in the safest place either. It's not like the old seven day horde where we were in an old military base. Right now, we're in a little bit of a home and we're preparing ourselves for what's going to be probably one of our biggest challenges yet. But hey. That's half the fun, right? And I think this is going to definitely be the most fun we've had yet. But at the time being, what we're doing is we're heading here. Hopefully we can find some good stuff in the book HQ, because from what you guys were telling me, there is another secret in the book HQ, and that secret area has a lot, lot, lot of goodies that I want to get in on. But however, I think that secret area might also be the little trap area that I was suspecting from earlier. But either way, that is something... We will figure out as we enter this place and probably as we spend the night here because hopefully this barb club gets finished soon. I would like to have some good protection. I plan on spending the night here, so I don't want to die. That's definitely on the lower end of things on the to-do list. But anyways, higher up on the things that to-do list. Hopefully you guys are having absolutely a fan freaking fantastic day. As always, I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best. And if the best isn't with you guys, I'm hoping that the best gets there soon. If it doesn't get there today, hey, I'm hoping it gets there tomorrow. I'm just hoping, as always, you guys have an awesome one. Because I'm doing pretty, well, I don't know. I'm doing pretty awesome. I mean, we get to climb up a giant tower and try to steal some guns from an old library, giant library place. So, you know, it's a pretty fun day for me. Now, is that the roof? Which floor is the floor that I seek? I think it's this floor from what people were telling me. Is our barbed club ready yet? No. That means if we get jumped, it's shotgun rain. Well, I said it was going to be shotgun rain, it's shotgun rain, and the shotgun rain got us another level, which was always handy. Okay, I don't think she realizes I exist. You should realize the man with the shotgun exists. He is, uh, to be feared, you know? Okay, you don't realize that either? Dude, heads are just... God! More head explosions in the first, like, two minutes of this episode than we've had in a while. It feels good to use the shotgun. However, I don't want to use too much of it, and I think our barbed club should be ready for entrance. I don't think we need the shovel. I'm not going to use that at the moment. What I think we need is to get in. Get into a place. Now, is this the floor of the place I want? Oh. Well, that's, that's like the bathroom or whatever. Hold on. There's some place in here. Unfortunately, there is also a lot of zombies in here, but there is some place. And I just got to remember how to get to it. Where we can go and we should be able to get a lot of goodies coming our way. And I like goodies. I think it was this floor. I'm just trying to remember exactly which way we're supposed to go. Where the hell does that lead to? That might just be like an elevator shaft, but... Hmm. No, I think we might need to go down a floor or something. Yeah, yeah, actually. Hmm. I don't know. I think we do need to go down a floor because I'm looking for a secret here. We've already... And then overnight too, I would... Actually, now that I think about it... A, let's turn on the flashlight. B, let's try to kill as many as we can find, because now that I think about it... I don't want these guys attacking me at nighttime when they're going to be sprinting like freaking Hussein Bolt, okay? I want them dead before they get too deadly. 
So I'm, we got three of them at least. But well, there's definitely some more to go, and that's up to the roof. I'm not interested in the roof right now. I'm interested in the secret room. I want to see what it holds. And I think it is actually over here. Because from what you guys were saying in the comments, hallelujah, bless all you amazing peoples in the comments. Oh my god, bless you guys. That down there, I believe, is what we are looking for. Because right there, you guys pointed this out. Thank you guys a whole ton again. That's pretty suspicious. I glanced over that during my time, but you guys didn't. And this is why I love you guys. You guys have the eyes of eagles. You guys got hawk eyes. Hawk eyes are very useful. Okay, well, what the hell? Okay, can I break through this a little bit easier? At least is this tile? Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. Now, here's the thing, though. I'm scared that this stuff under us... I remember finding uh, some sketchy flooring on one of these floors up in the roof. So now I'm scared that this floor might collapse under our very feet. Now you see, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of scared of that because we've broken our legs way too often. And I wouldn't want that to happen again, but as you guys can see here, oh, look at that. That is like such, such fake flooring. Look at that stuff. It's wood. What? As you can see, the goodies are here. Now, the question is, is this floor going to collapse on us? No, I don't think so. What the hell? This is like fake wood over here. Do you guys see this? We can bust in through this? Hold up. Hold up. All of this is fake wood? Oh my god, I thought maybe some of it. Okay, well that's not wood. Okay, that's for sure. I thought maybe some of it, but no. Sweet mama. Just in- Oh, what is with these fake floors? What's with skyscrapers and being fake? We're gonna go check that out in a sec. Right now though, I hear bad people. Bad dead people. Bad dead people who came back to life, aka the worst kind. Now, I don't know if they're above us or what. Okay, screw it. Let's. Mm, eh. Okay, we'll search this up. The secret hole in the wall. We'll see what this has. But I'm scared because if those things start running, I mean, we have a pistol and stuff. Take them out, but we should be good. But whatever. I'm not too scared. What I am right now is excited. I want to get in this gun safe. I want to see what this gun safe holds for us, because. If it holds what I think it holds, it's gonna hold some guns. Hopefully. Hmm. What kind of gun don't we have? I'd love an SMG. Now that I hear that, it's a lot more zombies than I thought I heard at first. I wonder if they're on the ground floor or where they are. Thank God we got a little bit of water. Keep our hydration up. Keep our stamina going up. That's always good. Especially because I totally forgot to bring food. So there's a fridge or something here, you know, ready to keep us nourished. And hopefully our steel pickaxe doesn't break. Kind of right there on the edge, and I would not want this thing to go. But gun safe, what you got? Ooh, okay. Compound crossbow. Not the best thing in the world, but I hear a lot of zombies. We're gonna deal with this before we continue searching here. I can't tell if these are down or up. All I can tell is that there's a lot of zombies, and they are very loud. Okay, I think we're getting closer to the source. Yeah, we're definitely getting closer. Oh my god, they're as loud as they've ever been. Where are they? They have to be on the roof. Jesus. Listen to that. Also, what the hell is this on the ground? Is this another one of your secrets? With this towel, or if there's anything on the ground? Never mind, don't care about breaking that. It sounds like they're above. Oh god. Well, we might need to go explore this. That might not be too bad. There might be maybe like five zombies, six tops. But still, at nighttime, they do become deadlier. And also, really freaking annoying listening to all these zombies that want to eat my brains out. So we're going to try to make the way back up. Where did we do that? Right here. Let's try and get this new barbed club out for a spin. Let's see just how many brains this thing can bash in. My bet? All of them. But I'm not a betting man, so don't trust my word for it. Where are they? Are they still above? How could they be above? What would they be breaking on the roof? But they have to be there. there. There's nowhere else that these guys could be. It, it doesn't make sense that they're this loud and if they were on the ground floor too. It sounds like they're here. They have to be above. All right, lads. It's time for some parkour. The likes of which you have never seen before. Oh God, okay, I almost broke my leg there. Yeah, we gotta parkour our way back up. The zombies are on the roof. I don't want them leaking into here like a freaking broken pipe. I want to kill them before they get a chance to do the same to us. 
That involves a little bit of parkour on the way, but hey, a little bit of parkour never hurt anyone. If anything, I'd say it made them stronger. Is this where they are? No! Why are they so loud if they're on the ground floor? What is it? Oh my god, that's the thing about seven days. Seriously. If, like, it doesn't matter how high or how low they are compared to you, zombies are just loud as hell. Honestly, why do they do that? That is not nice. That's a total mean move. There totally should be something hidden up there. That'd be pretty cool. But I think I did miss a gun safe up here anyways, so we're gonna try and cop that. But it looks like the bookstore is gonna be safe. That means we're gonna have an entire night time to loot this. Because there's not- I think we've taken out all the zombies. We got another gun safe. This is one that you guys told me about. I kind of, you know, brushed it aside because I was in a little bit of a rush last time. But now that we're going to have a lot more time to get a lot more intimate with this beloved place, I think this is going to be the perfect opportunity to break into that gun safe. Our mining tools at level 30, which is nice. But I'm saving up all of our skill points. I think we got 18. I want all of those to go into that awesome perk for looting. Not treasure hunter. I don't want treasure. I want Joe. I want Joe to be as high quality as possible. I also want as much stamina as possible, but hey, we can't get every dream of ours. All right, I'm trying to make it happen, but it's proven difficult. Now, I just got to break through this. And with a couple more swings of our pickaxe, this should be going down. How the hell are we having heat stroke when it's the sun is setting? Are you serious? I mean, we're not there yet, but oh mama. Okay, I should have looted this earlier. 500 quality compound bow. Yo what, mate? Yo what? Oh my god. I, I gotta get some steel arrows for this because the damage on this... Sweet mama. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Dude, I think this is the start of something really awesome. I think this is the start of us getting our purple loot. We got some blue loot. But I think this is the first time we've gotten some purple. Besides, like, I think we got a purple paintbrush one time. But I don't think that counts. I don't think, listen, I'm not Leonardo DiCap- Not Leonardo DiCap. I'm not Leonardo Da Vinci out here, alright? I'm not painting no masterpieces. I'm just interested in loot. And this thing right here is gonna help me a lot with that. And we still do have quite a bit to loot, so... Uh, it does suck that the steel pickaxe is about to break. And we do need to craft the crucible. Although, I don't want to use our resources on the Crucible yet. You guys remember, we've been stockpiling just a little bit. But I don't want to use that stockpile on the Crucible when the Horde is coming very, very soon. About, well, after tonight, we're going to have two more days. And quite a bit of defenses that we still have to put down. So, with that being the case, I'm not too interested <laughs> in uh, investing all of those resources into something that's just going to help us make... Oh, don't break it now! That's just gonna help us uh, make more steel. Ooh, what up, auger schematic? Wish I could get the parts for you. Can I craft auger? Hold on, can I craft auger parts? Eh, I can craft the blade. Is that it? Well, let's hope that we find the rest of the parts because we haven't found one other auger part at all, which is weird. Especially considering that a lot of you guys seem to think my game is glitched with certain items. Notably, the shotgun blueprint, the one that still has not showed up, but if that's the case, and we literally can't get the stuff for the auger and whatnot, that would really suck, because the auger and the chainsaw are two huge parts of the game. Especially when it comes to harvesting and getting a lot- Okay, this is something new. Wow! I never learned how to make scrap leg armor. Maybe there is a chance that we'll still learn how to make a shotgun, who knows? But since some of you guys do seem to think that our fortunes are not the best, the game might be glitched. I don't know, that'd be very sad if it turns out that we can't get the auger and the chainsaw. Because that's going to make harvesting a whole nother level of easy breezy. And breezes are awesome when they're easy. They're even nicer. So that would be pretty cool. But, mm, I don't know. I'll go ahead and break through this too. Well, I was going to break through it entirely. I broke through most of it. But as you guys know from that sound, that means nighttime's here. If we miss anything in this tower, it might be sucky for us. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we'll die from it, but I do think it's going to be annoying. Just like how much our stamina goes down when we swing this goddamn steel pick. I wish you were purple quality. Holy hell, I could probably break this thing in two swings. Just be like, boom, boom. Looking like Fred Flintstone out here with all that power. Ugh, I hate these noises in the night. Okay, do we have enough stamina to finish this up now? Give me something good. 
You know what? It's not even that shabby, especially because I think our pistol barrel is in need of an upgrade. Ooh. Imagine if we had the highest tier of quality Joe right now, too. How nice that would be. Because right now, our pistol is at 450. What's the damage on this thing? I wish I had a thing to repair it with. Maybe we'll find one, a repair kit. So the damage on this thing, Entity 17. I wish I had more pistol ammo. What is that? Someone exploding? I wish I had more pistol ammo. We gotta try to make a visit somewhere. Maybe we'll use some of our gold to even buy some, especially with our uh, impending doom. Or potential impending doom coming in. Yeah, we could try to head over to one of the outposts. Maybe sell a couple of things if need be. Oh, hello. I'll take a blue wrench. Sure thing. This thing can get scrapped, but... Oh, wow. Dude, even the sink is having good stuff. Okay. I don't know what happened, but apparently today is the day where everything that we loot is amazing. Some of you guys have been telling me that I should try bringing some of the books with me. I, it's, I mean, yeah, we could sell them for a nifty little bit of profit. They're like, okay, this compound bow is actually a nice little bit, but it does take up inventory space. And for the most part, I am a man who likes to prioritize inventory space because I like taking as much home as possible as I can. And I don't know, I feel like tying it up into schematics and stuff sucks because you can only have like one of those pretty much. And that's just going to take up a whole inventory slot. Now, nighttime's officially here. This would be scary if we were in the other tower, which I do plan on going to soon. I don't know if we can go there before day 28, though. I do want to finish the horde, and this tower already spending tonight here is a little bit sketchy in terms of being prepared for the impending doom of the horde. But, given how day 21 I overestimated a lot, maybe day 28 won't be as awful as I originally thought. Maybe we'll be able to handle it a lot better, but regardless of what happens, we will end up going there eventually because from what you guys were telling me, that tower has some very interesting stuff in it. Now, I don't want to specifically say anything, all right, but I think I have a hunch that we might uh, get some answers when we go there, at least to the upper floors. You guys seem to be pretty conf- Ooh, can of pears! I'm hungry! Give me food! I like the food. Although, can I eat it more? Yes! I can eat it more. I thought since I'd have, like, full hydration, it wouldn't let me eat it. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, still. I did not expect this bookstore to have so much. And I'm gonna go ahead and probably start looting everything here. Because I want to get that scavenging skill up. Especially because... Ooh, gas barrel. That's gonna be good for fuel for the bike. But I want to get our scavenging up as much as possible. Because that's gonna help us level up. And it's also gonna help us keep getting better loot. Both things that we are pretty interested in. At least... I'm pretty interested in. Don't know about you guys. Don't want to speak for you guys, but uh, can I somehow parkour? Yeah, I could parkour. I could save like, <laughs> look at that. We're doing the door parkour. I could save like one wooden frame by that. Uh, can I pick that thing back up actually? Yeah, I'll be taking that back. You know what's probably gonna happen? My leg's gonna heal up here. I'm gonna take a two foot fall and it's gonna break again, as is tradition. Now, you know what I wish would be tradition? I wish maybe we could find a little bit a weapon store crates up here. I thought maybe we found like every other type of crate besides the weapon store. So I don't know. Because this is a. Hello? A cement mixer? Hold up, we got a cement mixer. Can I take this with? I don't think I can. Damn it! Really? Just a cement mixer right here? Oh, uh, if I had some more sand and stuff, I would totally make some concrete mix that we don't know how to make right now. Or do we? No, I don't think we do. Damn it, man. Are you serious? I can make sand from stone? That could be handy eventually. Uh, I should probably scrap some of these things too. But, hmm. I wonder if we use the wrench on this, if we could get it back. I know we used to be able to get the workbench back with the wrench from what people were saying. Uh, well, by the looks of it, I don't think we're going to get it back. But we are going to get a lot of useful stuff back still. So, honestly... I'd say maybe this is worth it. I'm totally cool getting a good amount of forged iron, a couple of mechanical parts up in here. Springs, eh, I'll pass on those, but I'll be damned. A cement mixer. The thing I've been trying to craft oh so hard for oh so long. I wish I could have scrapped a small engine out of that. That reminds me, we still do, are there any cars up here? Are you guys shipping any cars? I would love that. But yeah, on the way home, I think it might be in our best interest to try and get that small engine. Because concrete, I don't know if we're going to be able to pour it for today. Or not for today, for this week's hoard. But I think we are... Hello, what is that? 
I'll take some electrical things. I got plenty of wire tools. Don't care about that, but I'm interested in some more electrical things. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Man-eater challenge. What the hell? It's from the Crazy Jake clan. Hold on. Crazy Jake, my man. Do you want me to eat men? Kill some male zombies. That seems easy. Hey, Wasteland is a lonely, desolate place. We've been looking in on you and think you might be a good addition. How the hell have you been looking? From where? Good addition to our clan, but before we take in another mouth to feed, you'll need to prove yourself worthy. Do this task and we'll consider taking you in. Dude. Is this game fleshed out to the point where we can actually, like, join a clan and there's NPC settlements? I know that they want to make them eventually. I don't think they're a thing yet. I might be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but still. Oh, can you guys imagine how awesome it's going to be when there are more NPCs and you can, like, literally go into settlements, even join up with them? I don't know why. The thought of that is one of the most epic things in the world to me. Just... Maybe not epic things in the world. There's a lot of epic things in this world, but one of the most epic things that could happen in the game. What do you guys think? What are some things I want to hear from you guys firsthand in the comment section? What are some things that you guys are super excited to see in seven days? Not anything that's in the game that you're excited to see me check out. I just mean overall stuff in the future or just stuff you want to see. I'm very curious because odds are you guys are more creative than me. I got the create creativity of a rock with a crack down the middle. Like, trust me, my creativity is in the pooper. Definitely lower than it could be. Look, it, my, my creativity is right here in the trash compactor. It's trash. But I'm definitely open to hearing what you guys have to say. Cause I, I don't know. I love spurring discussions in the comment section because I feel like you guys sometimes have some super amazing things to say. And I love hearing amazing things, especially from you, because I don't know, we're a community here. And just knowing that, you know, some of you guys are so creative and all that. I don't know. It's awesome. So if you guys got any cool ideas or things you'd want to see or just things you're excited for seeing in the future that you know are going to be in the future. For me, dude, I think personally, I'd have to put that with the settlements. Like, they have to be a thing. The way they're wording these challenges, eventually these challenges have to be attainable. You know, I think, I don't think they're going to leave them just kind of open-ended like, Hey, you know, my name's Jake. Join my clan if you kill seven male zombies and eat two jars of honey. And then you finish your quest and you're like, all right, you're in the clan. All right, what do I get, Jake clan leader? You're in the clan. That's all you get. You're, you're just in the clan. That's disappointing. I know they're going to flesh it out. That's what I'm excited for. Because that'd be so cool wandering into like a... A uh, place full of NPCs, all of them like have their own guns and stuff. If like zombies sometimes come to attack the settlement, you know, what if you could just chill there? Oh my god, do you know how amazing that would be? If you could just chill in like one of your, like if you join a clan, like an NPC clan, you do enough quests for them, you join their settlement, and you could spend horde days there, and then like you guys all fight off the horde together. I don't know why, that just seems like such an awesome idea. I like I was not fully thinking that idea out till I started talking about it But when I started talking and when I realized what it could be oh mama that got awesome also no worries. We will be Good job one frame. We will be heading out of here as soon as the daytime comes I just want to do this for our nighttime activities to you know mix things up a little bit and to show off that secret area Which is still so freaking awesome for real if I've ever missed any secrets anything like that Always let me know in the comment section. I, I mentioned this last episode. I love secrets. I would definitely love to check them out. So if you guys know of any, please, please enlighten me. And funnily enough, we have forged iron so we can actually repair the fire axe. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Hell yeah. That cement mixer was a godsend. We would not have had this forged iron if it wasn't for that. But when the day hits, we'll go back down. I'll try to get that small engine and we'll try to get that cement mixer working in the morning. And then from there, I think it's time to go as ham as possible with the fortifications. Step one is going to be making some real walls. If we can't get the cement down, I think flagstone's going to be our best bet. Maybe reinforce it using some cobble. But I think the next night or two, I think we have two more nights, right? Yeah, we have night 26 and night 27. I'm going to spend those two nights in the mines of our place. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. All right, I'll kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit for you. Kill some rabbits with a sawn off shotgun. <laughs> Thank you. Also, another thing is when we finish these quests, we do get some skill points. And as you guys can maybe recall from about three minutes ago, I'm interested in those. I want to get some perks, specifically of the quality Joe variety. And we've done a pretty good job starting to loot this floor out. Although we do have to, I think this, I think this floor has the most loot out of this entire building. 
I am disappointed whenever I open one of these crates and it's just a cabinet. I miss the olden days where every crate was something awesome. The bookstore boxes are... They used to be awesomer, but hey, I'll still take it for now. They're still not shabby. Fancy toilet. Hello, fancy toilet. Am I gonna take a fancy poop on you? Mm. All right, it's 3, 3 a.m. I will go till about 3.30 after that. Maybe we'll come back later. Who knows? Maybe I missed yet another secret. I don't think I did. God, I would love to have one of you, Chainsaw. Be a great use of gas and also a fantastic way. Hello, cooking girls. I don't have any of you. I'll take that. But still, mm, a chainsaw that would be so good because wood is such a pain and it's a pain. Ah! Oh, thought I was going to re-break the leg. The leg isn't fixed yet, which is maybe why I haven't broken it. Why? Because seven days to die likes to torment me. It likes to fix my leg before I re-break it. It's evil like that. Paint? Yeah, no. Can I scrap paint? Do I get anything out of that? No. Uh, I'm not really interested in paint too much. I don't know. We could go painting. We could go make like a giant work of art, a giant masterpiece, but I think I'll pass on that. Also, since we repaired this fire axe, didn't it used to take four hits to break these things? This full durability fire axe is doing the trick. And we could scrap that along the way and scrap that and maybe take some outdoor lights to finish out our inventory. Eh. Well, we do have to... Eh. Eh. Mm. Eh. Eh. Let's just drink the last bottle of water. There we go. That'll leave us the last slot, which hopefully we can utilize. We got a good wrench to use. Thank you, game, for showing me your ways of the secret compartment right here. The secret hole with the goodies inside. Let's get one more view from up top. Again, if you guys find this thing, this is where to go. It had a couple of things. I'd say the gun safe was definitely the best, but there were other cool things, without a doubt, including my friend the gun safe and the wall safe. Although I do think the gun safe was better. Regardless, I think it's gotten bright enough to the point where you can turn that off. We can make our way back down, and it's time to start worrying about the horde. Although, I'm worried about what's in there. That's the tower I was talking about, and those buildings over there look way more interesting than I remember them looking. Maybe I wasn't looking at them hard enough, but whatever. Also, how long does it take for our leg to fix itself. I've broken it like five times. I feel like my leg would be a master by now at fixing itself. Also, I hear sketchy stuff down here. Where the hell are those things? I don't know. I hear a lot of movement. All right. Well, they're actually on the cars that I was hoping to break. Would you look at that? All right. Well, sorry to say zombies, but I'm a man with a very good crossbow now. Or not a crossbow. Very good compound bow. I thought that noise was coming for me. I'm gonna put this thing to use. I'm gonna put it to the test. Oh, big hit. Look at that. How are you not dead, by the way? I feel like you definitely should be dead. One more for good measure. Okay, he's dead. Look at that. Two arrows. Second one not even in the head. And we're able to start taking out some of these guys. That's pretty handy. Also, I'm gonna make sure to loot these guys. Or loot, not loot the guys. I'll loot those two, but I'm gonna make sure to loot the sedans before we start breaking them down. Because from what you guys have said before, hello, painkillers. I'll take some of you. From what you guys have said before, supposedly, it's pretty, I don't know, they can have some good loot, and I remember you guys were leaving quite a bit of comments, so, you know, this is our series, we work together on this, I will no longer leave any stones unturned. However, I will try to break all of these, and I'm gonna hope that out of at least one of these, can we get, this would be a little bit easier, there was, uh, I wonder if the engine's gonna have, like, its own type of deal, I know there's oil and stuff, all those, yeah. But we're looking for the engine. I want this cement mixer. I think we have all the other goodies necessary. Also, good news is we're still getting a bunch of scrap iron and stuff, which is handy, but... Okay. Nothing in that car. Does it need to be a full, like, a perfectly intact car? I don't remember. I think it's this type of car that drops the engine. I don't think the last layer of it can drop what we're looking for. And I think the first can, but out of what I'm seeing here... Unless I'm illiterate, which there's always a chance... I'm not seeing small engine, which is unfortunate. Almost as unfortunate as the fate this man's about to suffer. Hello! Would you like to hear a second about our lord and savior? The level 504 compound bow! Of course you want to hear about them. You can always make time for that. Now, can we make time for finding some better cars? Uh, I'll loot this car just to be safe. I'm like, I'm pretty confident that it, we can do it on any of these cars that even look, as long as they're not the last level of totally shattered, I think the cars can drop what we're looking for. So I'm gonna look through them, 
at least through this layer. I'm not gonna break through the final layer, although I know I can get iron and stuff. And honestly, <gasps> small engine. All right, something's gotta get dropped. Uh, I'm, I don't plan on killing too many rabbits in my lifetime. Give me the small engine. Ooh, was that two of them? Oh no, just one. All right, what's the quality on this thing? 263. Is it better or worse than the one on the mini bike? Because I'm giving the mini bike the better engine, without a doubt. Mini bike, what you got for me, boy? What you got? Hmm. No, that's a oh, whole mama. Yeah, all right. Mini bike, you're keeping that engine. That's what makes you so freaking fast. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, speaking of that, before we make our way back, I know our inventory is full. We're probably not going to get anything looted here. Oh, yeah. I still wish we could find a bunker somewhere. Although, I think we may have passed a bunker in the past. We might go back to that when there is time, when the horde is less impending. Come on. You're telling me you can't make it up this? Come on. Come on. Can I encourage you with a better angle? Is this... This is... We actually can't go up this. It's, it's, it's a slow process. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Come on. You're right there. You're right there. Don't get... No, don't get... The, come on. Come on. Nice. We did it. Perfect. Now... I was going to try to go up to some of these military camps. What I was interested in seeing is if our favorite type of loot happened to have respawned yet. Because I would totally love to get a little bit more ammo before we call it a day. And there are a couple of military camps around here, so we'll go and check that out really quickly. Ammo, definitely. Hello, zombie stripper. How do you do? I don't know if I want to go to that camp. That one tends to blow things up. I like keeping things intact. Especially because me and landmines... We don't go together too much. Very skeptical of them. I, it's been a while since me and Mr. Landmines have had any problems, but still, I, I, I think I'd rather rather stay away from those things. Okay, so we got the hole in here. This doesn't mean I'm gonna loot this stuff. This just means maybe this will be our activities for the next day. Because if this loot is respawned, I like ammo. Yeah, it has respawned. Oh, mama. We'll be coming back here pretty soon. Although before we do that, let's at least see if maybe there's anything more in terms of ammunition? I'll, I'll, oh god. Oh, I thought that was like a feral zombie for a sec or whatever those things are. Uh, no, I'll just hit you in the face a little bit. I wish this club was a little bit higher quality, but death to you, fallen soldier. Go do what you do. Fall. There you go. Now you're a real fallen soldier. Anything good? <gasps> Hold on, an SMG receiver. I don't think we had any of these yet. Oh, this could be a good development. Goodbye, seven pieces of wood. Hello, SMG receiver. I like what I see. Well, I like what I see in here, though. Uh, well, this dude's not gonna like what he sees. Arrow right between the eyes. Although that was more through the side of a head. Right between the eyes. That's the story I'm going with, and he's not there to disagree with me. I gotta grab these because they're gonna despawn. Goodbye. Oh, jeez, what the... Okay. We got the rockets. It takes like six seconds to loot through this, but this should be good. And there might be one more. After that, we'll call it literally more rockets. I guess that's just the box full of rockets. Always has been, always will be. Yeah, we're gonna come back here. That is for sure. Although I just, God, I just love looting this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. We're definitely coming back here. 200 wood, not the best thing in the world, but given the fact it's easy access wood that we don't have to chop down five trees for. We've been cornered, we've been cornered. Okay, no we haven't because this one's stupid. What the hell? Where'd you think I went? Where's you going? This way. This way, a dingus. Come on. Yeah, come on. Eat some in the face. Eat some arrows to the face. They're nutritious. Eat them. Look at that. You gotta get those vitamins. You need some vitamin A. Vitamin arrow. All right. We can scrap that. That should have some inventory room. Now, if I could go back to not being disturbed, we'll see what this has. They'll probably head on back. I don't want to get too greedy here. I don't want to loot too many things, but... We will come back, we'll claim the rest of what stands here, and this is why I looted this first when we came back here. Because it was gonna pay off for us, and oh, it has paid off so far. This means we're gonna be able to rearm ourselves a little bit before the horde comes, which means more guns, and more guns, and more ammo. That means that maybe we will survive this horde a little bit smoother than I expected us to. To hell with the glass jars, I don't care about those. To hell with two painkillers, we have so many of those. I'm taking the eggs. That's gonna go well with some venison. I hope I haven't passed any deer lately. I did say that I would stop ignoring them. So I feel like if I passed any and accidentally ignored them, you guys are gonna call me out on it. <laughs> now what's that blue tent over there? I've never seen a blue tent. And it's oddly just looking over this military camp. Whatever. I guess we'll find that out 
in the future. But for now, I'm gonna head on back, probably make a couple pit stops by the traders. See if maybe they have anything good for us. We still got a good amount of coin that I would like to use. Now, I've seen a pretty good uh, idea from you guys. Hello, wandering horde. Please don't wander through me. Yeehaw! I've seen a pretty good idea, which is if I still can't find the shotgun schematic, what I could do is quote unquote buy it for a cost, where I just like throw out a certain amount of gold and then I could spawn it in. I think this idea seems the most fair because I still have to buy it. I still have to pay something. I can't just get it for free because maybe I'm just having the worst luck in the world, but. I think buying it maybe for like double the price I should, that might be fair. Let me know though. This is feedback. I want to have it. I want to hear what you guys have to say. This is our series. We are enjoying it together. So I don't just want to make decisions, you know, through me. I want to run the decisions through you guys. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, we will retire home for a quick break here in the morning. And then we will set back out tomorrow. Hopefully start crafting that cement mixer and uh, really making this home base maybe should i put down that sleeping bag have i done that yet no i think i put the sleeping bag away we still gotta do that we'll do that next time hope that don't forget but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys all time for watching have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya